Good morning, Cowboys. I'm Yvonne Cortez here with your morning announcements. Attention winter sport athletes, start getting your paperwork in order. Register for 2019 to 2020 on athleticclearance.com. You need a current physical and extracurricular contract sign completed. Impact testing signups are on the athletic web page. First day of tryouts is on November 4th. You must be cleared to try out. Career week is on November 4th to the 8th. We will be on a block schedule that week. SHS Thespian Halloween Haunted Theater will be on Monday, October 8th through Thursday, October 31st at lunchtime. Come to the PAC by the textbook, textbook room. Tickets are at $2. The next food fair will be on Thursday, October 31st. We will be accepting fundraise requests starting Wednesday, October 23rd at 8.45 a.m. You must turn them in person. Cash for College Night is on November 7th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the library. This is a free workshop for seniors to help them complete their FAFSA and DREAM Act applications for college. And this is the Community Service Opportunities, Cowboys. I'm Yvonne Cortez here, Vice President of Cowboy TV. I just wanted to make a quick announcement and say that if you guys have any new segment ideas or script ideas, please stop by room 301 at lunch on Tuesdays. We'll be happy to produce them with you and work with you. Thank you, Cowboys. Howdy, Cowboys. My name's Valerian, and I'm from Cowboy TV. Occasionally, if you don't know me, I do the movie reviews, skits, and cooking reviews. And I also edit some videos. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here for a special announcement to all clubs. If you want Cowboy TV to advertise for your club, just email us at our brand new official Cowboy TV email, CowboyTVSHS at gmail.com. And don't forget to follow our Instagram, CowboyTVSHS. <laughs> So, oh, is it recording now? Yeah, but okay. I didn't decide. Alright, that's fine. So the first question is, what is your favorite thing about your career? My favorite thing about being a math teacher would be that I get to share what was given to me when I was in high school. Um, going into high school, I didn't really care for math too much, but I had a lot of great teachers in high school and in college who kind of ignited that spark and my appreciation of math. So I'm just sharing what was given to me. And what do you expect um, from teaching other students? What do I expect from teaching other students? Well, I would expect, since I am a student myself, and I go to night classes and whatnot, that the students have an open mind and they try their best. And if that occurs, I think anything is possible. So I would say just keep an open mind and and I'll try to do the same, because that's how learning occurs, and that's how I like to learn. What is your favorite part about teaching yourself? My favorite part about teaching? Hmm. Well, it's, it's a rush, it's invigorating, you know? Um, learning and seeing students, you know, that light bulb go off, and they figure something out, they make connections. I find that that's nice. Um, but teaching at Salinas in particular, I really like that there's a good support system. Like several of the math, other math teachers help me out, and the admin and the district, they offer professional development. So that's really nice. One of your goals for your students. One goal. Okay. I would say one goal for my students is to realize that they have the power to change. And that means in the classroom, themselves, their ability to learn, if they can realize that their actions, their thoughts can change things in their lives, not only just at school, but outside of the school, with their family, you know, with their community, with anything. So I think that that's something that I'm trying to work on, you know, just that realization. And so I would like, that would be an awesome goal for them to be like, hey, by me doing my work and learning this and understanding it, I 
next week, tomorrow's better. It's, you know, math is fun, it's easier. And they can apply that to all aspects of life. What is your inspiration to keep on working hard? I would say my inspiration is, it comes from wanting to, or being a lifelong learner. Like, as a learner, I aspire and, and drive to be a better me than I was yesterday or today. Just not to be the same person and to grow as much as possible. And it sounds like inspirational stuff, right? But, but that's, that's, I mean, it, at the essence of it, that's what it is. So, uh, I noticed that you like to joke around a lot. <laughs> okay, okay. And where did that came from? Yeah, all right, so, so me and my puns in class, that actually came from my high school geometry teacher. He was a funny guy, and he just had the most dry way of teaching. He'd be like, okay, class, let's start class today. Take out your books, take out your homework, and uh, yes. And, but every now and then, you know, like if we did like the asymptote or something, and he would draw a, a, a dotted line, he would say, dot's right. And I would sit in class and be like, that's hilarious, and no one else is laughing. And, and so I would start laughing, and then, you know, I think it, him and I made a connection. So I thought that was hilarious. And so I think that that, that kind of, you know, rubbed off on me and I was like, wow, that's, that's cool. He's still teaching and he's connecting with kids through humor. Any message you want to send to students who are watching this? Any message I would like to send to students who are watching this? Hello? And <laughs> study hard, you know? Like, teachers are here to teach you because they want you to learn. And, um, I would say, be appreciative. Because I know that I'm appreciative of all the students in my class, and I think to, to, to get is what you give, and so on and so forth. Thank you. Thank you very much.